So for all of you guys who guessed an 8XE, you're correct. This is actually going to be the first ever product from Team Lozi uh, on Innovation RC. I've never built one, I've never touched one, I've never really <laughs> obviously owned one. But we're going to see what we can do. Obviously it's a well-built vehicle because I had to piece and piece this whole thing. came in a box in a bag. And I will have to say, I'm impressed by a lot of it. I really am. Really the reason why I'm calling this one Morph is because the entire inside I'm going to have to change around. And what I did just to get it out today is the absolute bare minimum. Now, pretty much, as we know, a lot of the Lozy center diff and motor mounts, Pretty much as you could see, this is what I'm going to be running. Um, the rear diff, let's try to get it into light here. The rear diff is all the way on the left side, so you're limited to what kind of motor you can put. I can't just put a big 4070 cm motor in here. That's not going to happen because it's going to hit the drive shaft. Um, so definitely this will be a huge challenge. Um, and I'm only running a 4-cell right now. I can't even fit anything bigger than the 4S uh, 5000 milliamp. You know, hence why I'm going to be calling this thing Morph. <laughs> what I will be doing is a lot to this car. We're going to see if I can really, if I can really make this thing as uh, redundant, you know, as Typhon, as limitless. I'm up for the challenge, guys. Let's see what we can do. We're all shared out. We're running 4S. And we're going to see what we can do. This thing has got a ways to go yet. what we can do. Low Z8X E. That little 1415 castle has got some giddy up. Pretty surprised it wasn't choking with that gearing. Got some good stability too. Let's see what that is. All right, 84. That's on a four cell. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty surprised it did it. It did that on 4s. There it is, Gen's Ace. 